Hello, my name is John Walsh uh, with the Logic Group. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to uh, digitize patterns using the Jumbo Trace software and the Jumbo Trace boards. I first start up the Jumbo Trace software. I'm going to I always like to test the boards before I digitize. I'm going to come in here to Jumbo Configuration and Calibration. Um, I'm not going to calibrate it, I'm just going to test it. I'm going to come here, click Next, and I'm going to uh, test my ports, and I'll say Test XY. I'm going to digitize point on the board on the left, digitize point, digitize a point board on the right, digitize point on board on the left again, and uh, I have it's digitizing. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this screen here again. Okay, doke. So now I'm going to digitize. Uh, my first example, I'm going to digitize a pattern just doing freehand drawing. That's tracing. I just trace around something. So tracing, I'm going to go ahead and come in here and click start. And then I just hold the tip of the pin down or I push the side button and follow along the pattern. So I have a pattern here and it's just on one board as the example, but I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go around the pattern. As I'm going around it, it's going to show it to me on the screen. So I go all the way around my pattern, lift my pin up there. And uh, when I'm done, I come over and I click done. And then it's going to ask me if I want to connect to the first and last point. I say yes. Um, my next pattern that I'm going to do is I'm going to do lines and arcs. So I'm going to digitize points and have them connected with lines and arcs. I've got an ice cream cone with a V and a semicircle. So I come in here to lines and arcs. And then I click start. I'm going to digitize three points of the V. So I come in here, I click the upper left, the bottom, and the upper right. So that gives me the V. And then I come here in the software, I can toggle back and forth between lines and arcs. It switch it to arcs. Then I digitize a point at the top of the arc. Then I digitize a point at the end of the arc, which is pretty close to the very first point digitized and it will give me an arc. And I click done, and then connect to the first and last and say yes. Now let's say that I had a gasket that had four sides and four curved corners. I could do line arc, line arc, line arc, line arc, and so on. Also, I didn't have to, dig it's going to connect every three points with an arc, but I didn't have to digitize the first point of that arc because it used the last point digitized as the first point of the arc. Let's go ahead and put a hole in it like it had a circle in it. So I come in here to circle, I click start. Do a circle, you do any three points. So I just come in here and do click, click, click. So the three points anywhere on the circle. I then click done. It'll tell me what the diameter is and I can click OK and it'll pop that circle in there. Um, let's go ahead and put a circle in the other one too. I go ahead and click start and then I come in and do any three points on the circle. So I do click click, click, and then I click on the software, I click done, it'll tell me the diameter, I click OK and it gives me a circle. I then come in and, and click uh, create file, um, I give it a name, I'm going to call this one EX1, uh, let's just call it EX, do it as a DXF file and click save and it saves to the DXF file. I want to save it again. I'm going to click Create File again. This time I'm going to, it says Save as Type. I'm going to change it from a DXF file to a long, here's the different file format. It's going to change it to a long header DXF. And I'm going to call this one EX2 and hit Save. Uh, most of the programs can read that, that standard EX DXF file just fine. If you have troubles, try the long header DXF. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen. And is, do you, do you want to restart? Say yes. Okay, this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to digitize again. And I'm going to digitize something on the jumbo using those, those same sort of um, things that we had before. Um, I'm going to do freehand drawing. I'm going to click start. And uh, I'm going to digitize my card. I can't reach way up there, so I'm going to come in here and 
come here, I'm just tracing around, sort of made up a part here. And then I click done. And then it will connect to the first and the last point. I say yes. And there's the file. I can come in here and click create file and I'll save it as a DXF file. Now, you can't digitize right in the middle. You can digitize across, but you can't digitize right in the middle. And um, um, there's a way that you can edit and in, in another video, I'll show you how you can edit the middle and be able to digitize. Um, let's go ahead and do a lines and arcs across the jumbo. So I'm gonna come in here and I don't have anything on here. I'm gonna kind of make this up. Actually, let's clear the screen first. So I'm gonna cancel this. Let's go clear screen. There's a menu at the top that says clear screen, clear it, yes. I could digitize again. And then I'm going to do lines and arcs this time. Um, so on this pattern that I have here, I'm gonna have a, a uh, straight line at the middle. And then it's going to have an arc. So I'm gonna switch here to an arc. And then get my arc in here. So that gives me my arc. And then I'm gonna do a line going all the way across to the other corner of the board. Then I'm going to do another arc. Then I'm going to do, I had, I got, then I'm going to uh, go back to line and I'm going to go up to the top of the board as far as I can reach. And then I'm going to do an arc up there. So I got to switch it to arc. Now I got to walk around the board. all the way around the board. And I digitize two points for that arc. And I'm going to switch back to line. To line. Then I'm going to come down over here to uh, down here. And I'm going to do Another arc down here. And do the points of that arc. And I'm going to click done. And I have thing now. I sort of freehand drew this so you can see it doesn't really make any sense, but you get an idea of how that lines and arcs works across the boards. Let's go ahead and add a circle here, and I'm going to do. Three points for a circle over here. Then click done. And then I'm going to do another circle on the other side. Click start. Do the three points for the circle on the other side. And then I click done. And okay. And there's my my drawing that I've done. And then I come in here and I hit create file. And I like this one so much, I'm going to call it John. And then I hit save, and there's the file. Don't forget, you might have to save it as a long header DXF. Change this to a long header DXF. And then I'm going to call it John 2. Um, in a nutshell, that's, that's the digit digitizing. Thank you. Bye-bye.